Hey, this is Amy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm coming at you with a kindergarten crate. This is the kindergarten crate for April of 2021. And um, if you don't know, kindergarten crate is a good subscription box for teachers, pre-K, first, kindergarten, and first grade. You could probably alter some of them for second or even a three-year-old. Um, depending what age you teach. This is a monthly box, and I believe it's 40 or $45 every month. And um, yeah, if you want to go on, you can go on www.com kindergarten crate um, and, they, and check them out. Let's go ahead and open the box and see what this month's box theme is and what it activities they are bringing with us today. The box comes in beautiful blue, um, Easter blue tissue paper. I like that because it is really, it's going to be Easter next month, a lot of different things. Um, they always have a teacher gift, and this month's teacher gift is a mask. Isn't that cute? Little um, bunnies and carrots, a beautiful spring blue. I can pretty much use that all spring long because we want to talk about gardening, talk about um, other things that grow in spring. This is a beautiful, beautiful one. It also comes with this adjustable uh, thing that I really like um, on the mask because I have a smaller face. So it's nicer to um, to adjust and sometimes these do come a little bit looser in the wash or as you wear them so it's nice to um i always even tell the kids parents to bring you know these masks are the better ones to have just my opinion but uh i like this we have some paint the cat shape and color flash cards so this definitely comes my kids really love pete the cat I don't know um, about your children and whether they like Pete the Cat, but Pete's a, Pete's a favorite of my students, and and um, they love when I get up and do the and walk like Pete the Cat would walk in his white shoes. We have clear cups, so that'd be interesting to see what the clear cups are for. Um. We have rubber dots, orange and green rubber dots. Definitely something that would be nice. Iridescent gel pens. I love these. The colors change on dark paper. Oh, wow. I wonder what activity we're using that for. I would just use it. Forget my kids. I'll use it. <laughs> no, but we'll, we'll see what the activity is. They do always... Um, tell you what the activity is so that you um have that so you could use that um in last month there were so many awesome activities i used all but one of them some days i don't use um them all we also have um start at the sky and pull down to the ground it's a logical and friendly approach to handwriting the lines are color-coded with blue denoting the sky, and green indicates the ground, and the flower is the bottom line. Oh, wow. It helps them understand the concept of lines and spaces. Say, start at the sky and pull down to the ground. This would be great because I do have kids that don't quite get it. I like that. It tells you exactly how to do it. Oh, wow. Um... I, this will definitely come in handy with my children and learning um, the formation of a letter. Now that we're through it and they're writing their letters, so now this next subject is the formation and how to do it. We have glitter critter stickers. So this is good as we go into the bugs and birds of the season. Oh, yeah. Bees, worms, a lot of good things for the spring. Definitely this one's uh, pink with frogs on it. 
Oh, and snails. I like those stickers. My children are going to love that stickers, too. And our book is Too Many Carrots. It says Rabbit loves carrots. In fact, he loves them so much that they're crowding him out of his cozy burrow. When his friends offer to help, Rabbit happily accepts. But will too many carrots cause too much trouble for Rabbit and his friends? That sounds like a good story by Katie Hudson. Oh, that's some pretty, definitely some pretty uh, artwork there. To give you a little synopsis, I'm going to read this page. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble at his, as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. So, they're helping him, and uh-oh, what are we going to have? That I think my kids are going to, I'm going to like this, but I think my children would like that also. And then they give you the, activ they always give you the activities of what you are going to do. So, something, we're doing something that where the carrots grow under the ground. They tell you what's in your box. So there's a paper that tells you what's in your box. The theme. So this month's theme is Too Many Carrots, where you get the carrot book, student activities, classroom supplies, and a teacher mask. That's why I guess it was bunnies and carrots. And then it tells you what next month's book is. It's Jabari Jumps um, of a boy and his father at the pool and how he learns to face his fears as he tries something new. So, as you can see, that's the book. And then it shows you some supplies and the teacher gift, which looks like caramels, which I will be absolutely thrilled with if it is. Um, so, in here, you get uh, literacy, math, and science pages, which will go over the smart story, start story paper, the green, oh, they're orange green carrot counters, the shake and spill cups, Crayola gel pens, and spring stickers. There's always papers that go and tell you how to use each one of these. Um, and so we'll come, come back. It, whoops, it should show me. And then it has your... Oops, are we still... Oh, yeah. It gives you... And I'm still checking this out, sorry. There's a lot of activities on this one. Okay. So they have a story map where you fill in the story map with the problem who tried to help rabbit, the solution, and they have a little page uh, of the animals that you could cut out and glue where they go. Or they can even write uh, who helped as well. Some of my kids can write um really well so they could do that um we have carrot sorting where they cut and paste the carrots to the correct rabbit so one is your capital l or capital letters one's your lowercase letters and the others are numbers and they have to match which one of these that cut out the carrot and then glue it where it goes so that's a that's really cool. I like that. These are definitely useful. Um, and the under here they have underground letters, and they have the let some letters up here, and they have to trace the words, and it gives you the different ones: pig, yo-yo, um, jog, gum, and queen. And then they just have to trace that and helps them to know those letters go underneath. There's a carrot shake and spill. That's what we use um, with these cups. And you're shaking and spilling the counters, those little round circles, recording how many land orange up in, in the below ground space and record how many land green up in the above ground space. So it looks like it's an addition problem. 
That's pretty cool. And then here you can draw the correct number of carrots in the patch. So how many carrots are in the two patch? They have to draw those carrots. That's perfect because we do do things like that in hours. Here's cutting the carrots out and pasting them equally between rabbit and turtle. So equal, they have to decide how many are equal what equal means and put those number of carrots in each one of their turtle and rabbits section. Here's drawing the lines from the animal to its habitat. Where does the squirrel live? Where does the turtle live? Where does the rabbit live? The bird and the, um, I can't think of what that is. Well, we know <laughs> what that is. All right, so it shows you that. And then we have help the rabbit find the way to its carrot. This is a definite challenge for my kids. And I know a lot of them can do it, which is pretty awesome. So that's it for this box. Um, the underground carrot pages. Let me show you what that one was about because I don't think that we had it. Here are the ones, the pages, and they just give you the directions. So each one do, does come with a direction for how to use that. Um, that one. So if you're not quite sure um, of the simple directions, they give you more detailed directions. And sometimes these are very helpful. Okay, here's the underground. It goes with the shake and spill carrots. Um, and you can laminate or pocket the shake and spill mats for individual or small group activity. And then they shake and spill the five orange green counters onto that. So you, they get five, they don't get a whole big thing, which is why all the answers will equal five. And then they move the counters that landed on orange underground, like the carrots here, and they move the counters that landed on green above ground up here. Okay, that's a really good one. Um, so I like that. This I think this one, my kids will love it. There's things I could put out on the tables. There's things I could do at small group. So um, I think like last month, we're going to get through a lot of the um, activities. Last month, I did almost the entire box except for one, which I think I'm actually going to bring out this month as well um, because we didn't get to it. And I think we're going to get out through all of this box to probably not um, in this whole month because we only have a few weeks, but we will definitely use it for this month and May as well. So this has been the Kindergarten Crate. We have the Shape Colors flashcards. I like that they give you all these activities because we could do it. The, oh yeah, the book. I can't forget the book. Um, I like getting the books every month because uh, it just gives me something to add to my um, to my collect book collection that a book I don't really have, and then I can use it um, even uh, if I don't use it in a carrot uh, theme. I could use it for other things as well, and these definitely came in handy. I think I would love to get more of these. Um, but if I can't find these, I can always use one to um, copy, photocopy, which is awesome as well um, when you have to do that. So this was my kindergarten crate uh, box. And again, my beautiful, beautiful mask. Oh, that's cute. I like that. The kids are going to love this as well. This I'm, I'm going to wash it and then wear it next week for Easter. All right, my friends, I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've enjoyed it, 
hit the like button. And if you would wish to uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And in the meantime, until the next video, have a great day. If I don't, um, probably won't do another video until after Easter. So have a wonderful Easter. Enjoy that yummy food. And I'll talk to you then next time. Bye.